Okay, second part of groundwork. The absolute bi Look at Zeus. Zeus! What's going on, man? A little drive-by action of Zeus there. Anyway, so the second part of groundwork. <clears throat> uh, if you haven't seen the first part, I'll link to it below as usual. For the second part, I'm gonna grab a completely different horse, because why not? A little bit of variety. Now, here I'm gonna go get her. Now, she might be thinking, no. But, as you can see behind me, We're a bit of a crowd. Something to always be aware of when you're in a crowd of horses is what they're doing. These guys I'm pretty used to, so I don't really think about it too much. I listen for them. I have an idea of where they are and what they might be doing. I can also judge what they're doing a little bit based off of what she's doing. A little bit hard to see her eyeballs there. Um, whether or not she's moving, whether she's responding, what her ears are doing. Uh, so a little bit of horsemanship there. I'm going to capture her uh, because doing groundwork that isn't liberty requires a, a lead rope. So let's get her now. Okay, looks good. Now I'm going to bring her over and I really want to be paying attention to what the other horses are doing too. I have a feeling they'll just leave us alone and do their own thing. So I'm not going to worry too much. I guess another part of groundwork is just leading. And I talked a little bit about it with uh, Luke, how he would just sort of stay where I wanted him. Lena's a little more slow pokey at the moment. So I'm going to ask her forward. See the halter's loose. You can tell your halter's loose when it comes up and around their, their mouth like this. So, see, too loose. But I was kind of hoping I'd be able to get away with just having this loose halter. Look at this. See, if I fit it right, that's how much it comes off, so up on the nose, under the chin. Should be a rhyme for that. Anyways, let's snug this up a bit. Now there are lots of other uh, videos out on the internet about halter tying and fitting. Now she'd like to stay at the back, which is going to be interesting in and of itself. Um, as with Luke, we're always wondering where the draw is. We'd like for us to be the draw. So I'll start with the same thing that I did with Luke for her. And uh, you can see how she's getting a little ahead of me. Let's go a little bit. We'll see how much she gets ahead of me. See now she's starting to Cut me off a little. She's getting closer, coming in. Until essentially she cuts me off. <laughs> uh, we'll cover leading in another video. <laughs> There's always something, I swear. What we really want to do is um, continue on with the groundwork that we did with Luke. So this will be sort of a part two to that. Um, but as we go along, you're always going to sort of discover things. So I, I'd like for these videos to be sort of the raw footage or what really happens with horses, not just the stuff that you kind of go into a round pin and everything looks like it's supposed to look like or slightly off and then it gets fixed. These are just normal things that happen. You kind of go along and, and they don't want to be with you. They want to be somewhere else. They've got other things to do. They've got their own lives. They've got their own thoughts. So I have to accommodate somehow. But at the same time, um, it's important. Just gonna put my camera thing up again. Ah, it just makes it easier. You guys get to live up here. Angle you down. Good. 
Okay, new horse, possibly new problems. Um, we're gonna start with the first three, asking her to be with me. See, she's usually pretty good. It doesn't usually require very much for her to kind of hang out. Um, she actually does a lot of liberty work. I'm very, very good about it. I mean, I, I should be able to just walk backwards and she'll come with me. If I walk forwards, she should come with me. If I walk backwards, yeah. So it doesn't take a lot. She's very good. So I don't know if I'm just, if anybody wants their horse featured in one of these videos, that's a total pain in the butt or something's not working out, let me know. Um, I'd love to show some behaviors that other people are experience, experiencing. Um, you can't relate to, oh, these horses are so good. Well, not always, and they weren't always. In fact, to tell Lena's story, uh, I'll tell her story another time. Um, but she's a really good horse. So we're gonna start off with the first three. One, we keep her with us. One and a half, we fix her hair. She's got so much of it. Uh, second step is I want her to move out when I ask her to, so I'm gonna ask her to come around. She isn't gonna go just yet, so I'll just use my right hand to drive her forward a little. And my energy is again going at the girth, so I'm just doing a little bit of review of part one of basic groundwork. Right at the girth, right at the girth. Now I'm gonna ask her to stop. My energy goes to the butt. Her butt moves, her front left foot stays. We've done a good left-hand circle. So the other thing that I would want to cover when I'm doing groundwork uh, with a horse is that they can back up. Um, because when you go to do your uh, directional change, there will be a part of that that is a backup. So the next thing I wanna do is I'm going to, I'll just do it from this side so you can see. I'll pet her, let her know I'm coming in. And I'm just gonna grab the halter here and go backwards. Now she's very, very kind and gentle about it. So that's good. So we're gonna do it again, we've come forward. And I'm just pulling back a little bit. Her head's a little high, there. Down a little and in. Right, I'll pet her. And so that's really good. So now we've got a backup. So that's step uh, four, right? So first we get them with us. Second, we get a turn. Uh, third, we make sure we get our one rain stop from the ground. And fourth, stay with me. Fourth, um, we get a backup so that when we get a directional change, we can have that backup happen. So that's our fifth step. And this is usually the harder step or the hardest step. Unless you have a horse that's sticky with their feet that doesn't want to back up, that's the hardest step and can be uh, kind of dangerous. So all of these instructions with a grain of salt, please. Don't, um, uh, don't sacrifice your safety for following direction, I guess I could say. Here's Zeus. Lena doesn't like dogs very much, so I'm gonna ask him to just, here, get out. Hey. Okay, so the next thing we can do, we've got the backup, and it doesn't have to be done in this order, but we do have a backup just by asking with the lead rope, which means I'm probably gonna be able to get it done with the reins. The other thing I wanna do is I want her to back up just by asking her. So she should yield a little, just like that. Say thank you. She says, no problem. Okay, let's get a direction change now. So I'm gonna ask her to go to the left because this is what we're used to. We could go the other direction, doesn't matter. But I'm going to the left. My energy is to the girth. I'll keep bringing her around. A little sluggish today, but calm. We like calm, calm and peaceful. We'll get the butt. We'll ask for the backup. And then lead her the other way. My energy is towards the girth. My feet are going always forward. I bring her around. We get the one rein stop. We get the back up, the yield, and then the other direction. I'll do this again from the other side. We get the stop, we get the back up. 
and the other direction. And we get a Zeus, which is good. You see her ears go back. We'll prepare her for a stop. Her front right foot stays still, her butt comes around. Everybody has a big sigh. That's good. Okay, so that's, that's the next stage of the groundwork that you would do. So when I talk about groundwork in any of my other videos, and if you're watching this after coming from some video that says, come here and watch this video, this is what I'm talking about when it comes to doing other things. And it could be anything. You could be going down a trail. You could be going through a gate. You could be going into a trailer. You could be going into a barn. You could be coming out of a barn. You could be coming out of a trailer, going into a paddock, going into a shelter, through a tunnel, up some stairs, across a bridge. You get the idea. Lots and lots of things. Um, so. The groundwork is important to keep you safe and keep the horse safe. So I'm trying to cover these things for the, the framework for the rest of the things that we are going to talk about, or I have talked about in the past. Um, she's paying attention over there because uh, those two are playing. Here, come here. She'd probably like to go play a little. Way down at the end there. I don't know. Hard to see. But they're goofing off. And she'd probably like to go over there. Now she's done pretty good. That groundwork was very successful. She was very compliant. So we're gonna let her go and see what she does. Just for kicks. Oh, very good. Bonus horsemanship thing there. I don't know, maybe it's just me. I like to have my horses put their head uh, down a little bit when I go to have the halter come off. They should think that the only way it's ever gonna come off is if they put their nose down. Some horses will rear up and they'll put their head up. Um, it's a safety thing, cause they will, they'll, they'll sort of take off on you and they'll get their head up. If they get their head up, you can't bring them back down. They could lift you up right up with their neck, with their neck muscles. But if they put their head down and the halter falls off, in time it just becomes a habit and they'll be looking to, uh, instead of go upwards and, and possibly rear upwards, they'll be looking to sort of come down and, and then you can pet them on the top of the head. It'd be a nice thing. <laughs> I think Lena's a third wheel. Maybe not. Okay, so hopefully that helps. Hopefully that those are the very basics of groundwork. I've covered them, two videos. I think that'll do. Any questions, any thoughts, uh, anything that, that you find works, doesn't work, uh, let me know. Or just watch and enjoy the video. Hopefully it's, it's, it's a good one. Anyhow, so that's the end of that. Uh, I will be covering a little bit more. We will talk about um, haltering. Uh, some good practices for that, as you can see. Uh, we talked about that a little bit. It is all part of the groundwork as well. Um, but moving the horse around, those are the things I really want to cover. And refer back to for other videos. So, Anyways, that's it for now, and uh, I'll talk to you guys again soon.